3.2 trends in electronegativity. Well, here's the electronegativity uh, graphed onto the periodic table. And you can see there is a general trend as you go across to the right, electronegativity increases. And as you go down, generally it decreases. So let's look at those two extremes. Well, fluorine, electronegativity 4, that's got the highest electronegativity. That loves electrons the most. And francium at the bottom left, that has the lowest. So here's the uh, data booklet version. So electronegativity is defined as the attraction of an atom for a bonded pair of electrons. You can just think about it as the attraction for, for an electron. Now talking of electron love, I love electrons so much I devoted uh, my life to it. I don't remember ever making that decision consciously. All right then, so there's the periodic table. If I was to just drop an electron in, where would it go? Which element would it be most attracted towards? Well, actually, fluorine. Again, because that has the highest electronegativity of value 4. There seems to be gaps for the noble gases. Uh, some people think you can get value, some people think you can't. But xenon, apparently, uh, that's fine, because of xenon tetrafluoride, which comes up later in higher level. Francium has the lowest electronegativity. And if you look at the trend across a period, yep, electronegativity increases across the period. The IB is not going to ask you about any minor discontinuities for this. And as you go down a group, yep, electronegativity decreases. So you need to remember those two trends. The general trend is francium on the low side to fluorine on the high side. So let's look at those two atoms more closely. Francium is the biggest atom on the periodic table, and it has the most shielding and also, the electron is furthest from the pull of the nucleus than any other atom. So francium just can't really retain or even attract electrons. Now, fluorine is the smallest atom on the periodic table that does any chemistry. So electrons are attracted towards it because then they can get closer to the nucleus. No other atom is so small, so the electron can get as close as it can to the pull of the nucleus, and that makes it stable. That's why francium hates electrons the most and fluorine loves them the most. 